Welcome to Studio X, and today we will be learning how you can save some time by using title preset packs. Let's check it out. Title design is typically the last part that gets added to the project, and it most of the time ends up being pretty time consuming, creating the same titles with slightly different changes. So having a title pack at your fingertips is the perfect way to deliver your project a lot faster and have a quicker turnaround time. So let's get started. So the title pack that I'm showing in this video is the Ultimate Titles Pack, which is for Premiere Pro. And I will link it down in the description so you can kind of see everything that's included. So there's a lot of items and a lot of different presets and it's perfect for social media. And it's great for YouTube and client work as well if you get the extended license. And you can see their previews right here. They have a lot of different types of designs. So let's jump right into Premiere Pro. And I did two that you can check out right here. So this one's kind of something that you could use for a traveling video, kind of covering best restaurants, things like that. And the second one right here is also good for traveling videos, traveling vlogs, you know, uh, any sort of stuff. And the one that I'm gonna be doing now as the example is this little cel celebration video. So I'm just going to put an endpoint in here, play it through, put an out point and bring it into my timeline. So these videos are 1080p, but these title packs can work with 4K footage as well and you can easily crop them in for Instagram uh, sized videos or even square videos. So super flexible. And basically the way you get to find them is in the essential graphics. And if you don't see this tab, you can just go to window and you can make sure that it's checked. And you can find it just by typing in tut P because that's the name of the pack. So if you can go, go down and find, uh, as you can see, there's a, there's a ton of these presets. But I'm gonna find one that seems pretty good for something like a, a birthday party. So I'm going to pick something that I think could kind of feel like that style. So I'm liking this font. So I'm looking the way this title looks over here. So I'm going to just bring it in on top. Great, and if you click on it, it's gonna take you straight to the edit settings. And the first thing I'll do is to check remove background. And I'm going to scale it down just to fit it better into the frame. This looks perfect. Let's go ahead and change the colors. I'm thinking something um, I do like to go for something simple, like white. And then maybe the inside color, we could do maybe like the yellow here. I think this will, we will go with black. And for this blue again, we'll go with white. Perfect. And once again, we'll just go with white. And we'll go with white. And more white. So I think this is looking pretty fresh so far. Let's go ahead and change. Let's go ahead and change some text. So instead of welcome, it's gonna be I'm just gonna write recap. Instead of Brooklyn, you're gonna put a name here, maybe something like Jason's. And you can see the recap is kind of off to the side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scale it up a little bit. And instead of Little Italy, we're gonna put birthday in all caps. Perfect. Maybe just the B, all caps. Yeah, that looks perfect. So let's go ahead and clip our end here. And I'm just gonna animate some blur. So I'm just gonna go over here, go into my effects, 
drop on some Gaijin blur onto my video. And I'm just gonna scroll a little bit to where the text is mostly in there. Go to effect controls, check repeat edge pixels, put something in like 20. Go to the beginning before the, before the thing appears. We're actually at the end of the text, we're gonna check mark the keyframe here. Great. And before the title starts appearing, we're just gonna type in zero. So now when you start previewing, you can see it starts putting in the text, blurring the background, and we get a nice little title of Jason's recap, Jason's birthday. And if you were gonna make this by yourselves in After Effects, you know that would have taken us an hour and let's say uh, we show it to Jason and he's like, oh, that's great, but maybe instead of a recap, we should put the date. You can easily go in and change it to, you know, February, I don't know, uh, 17th, 2020. And there you go, you've got his date up there. So it's very easy and super quick to work with. You know, you can, you can run this. I'm running it on a uh, pretty old MacBook. So, and it's, uh, it's perfect. So super quick and easy and fast way to make some titles. And there's so many designs to choose from. So let's even go ahead and find a different one. Let's say Jason says, hey, I'm not really digging that title. Can you uh, do something else? You can just go through and find another title. Let's try out another one. Boom, so I found this one right here, which I think is perfect, because what we are going to do is, well, one, you know, remove background and uh, scale it down. And let's go ahead and change the colors. So I'm gonna make everything white. Cause that's how I roll. I like simple, simple titles. Perfect. And let's go into the text. And we're gonna put um, at, you know, I'm just gonna put my Instagram in here. Let's pretend it's my birthday because you know you got that little Instagram logo in here and for the second line of text you're gonna type 24th birthday uh, recap perfect just gotta capitalize these these letters great that looks good and uh, you can see they're, they're pretty spaced out uh, I like my things pretty close together so I'm just gonna squeeze squeeze this in so it kind of matches the same border and I'm gonna go ahead and apply a drop shadow to this text. I'm just gonna zoom in so we can kind of see that. Let's go with 80%, distance of 10, perfect, and softness of five. Let's actually do softness of 15. And let's go, uh, let's go with seven here. So you can see how much nicer this is already looking. And if you were gonna do this, you know, by ourselves, you'd have to go into After Effects um, and do, do, do uh, way more work than, than it'll be worth to create a title like this. So this is definitely a time saver, especially if you're doing a lot of social media or online content. This is literally gonna save you so much time, which also equals out to saving a lot of money. So this is my review of the title pack. It saves me a lot of time and uh, of course saves me money when I'm working with clients and I highly recommend it. You can find the download link down in the description. And if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to my channel and leave a like on this video and I'll see you in the next one.